So I was scrolling through the 2007 Scape subreddit last night, and uh, that's normally what I do right before I go to bed every time, which is kind of bad, but, uh, you know, I like to stimulate my brain with a uh, bunch of RuneScape bullshit so I can have really weird RuneScape dreams where, like, I'm being chased and I think I can hop so I, I don't die, which, sadly, that <laughs> that's not a joke. That's actually, like, a real thought. Like, I, I've had dreams and everything, like, or I've woken up in the middle of the night. And I have just been thinking, like, oh, man, like, I gotta hop worlds right now. Like, obviously, like, I'm entirely awake or, like, I'm in a dream or something like that. And it doesn't make sense. It's just stupid. Like, it's really stupid, but that's not the point. <laughs> so, I came across this one post that was pretty interesting. And it was about the Gatter Hammer. And it was something from 2006 or something of the sort. Um, the post, it, it was, like, linking to, like, a, a forum or something like that in 2006. And they were talking about the Gatter Hammer and how it is really good on shades. The Gatter Hammer, of course, being obtained from the quest In Search of Miracle or In Aid of Miracle. Uh, one of the two. I know it's in that quest series, so I believe it's actually In Aid of the Miracle, or however you pronounce it. I probably butchered it, and people are gonna hate me right now, but it's okay because I uh, butcher pretty much everything apparently. So. The Gatter Hammer is actually really good on the uh, shades, and you can hit something like, I want to say you can hit up to like 50s or something like that. I don't know. It was really cool, and like I didn't um, know what to actually think about it first. So that got me thinking, what are other things that you could actually get from the um, quest items? Like, what are other good quest items that actually are good on like bosses and like uh, monsters and everything so one quest item you can get is called the Karis and you get that from the contact quest which I just did as you saw and uh, I found out that it is actually pretty good on cow fights as well as scarabs so obviously I had to go test this out and I tested it on a few things first I tested it on uh, those little workers and they only have 40 HP so it was kind of worthless to even show you but, but I was just one hitting them uh, and it's actually pretty, it's a pretty decent weapon, but I wouldn't really recommend it overall uh, for, like, the Cow Fight Queen or King or any, what? Cow Fight King? Alright. The Cow Fight Queen or anything, I wouldn't, like, really recommend it uh, for that. But, I actually did hit really well on the uh, Cow Fight Queen and the Cow Fight Guardians. So, it did do good, but it was, like, a little bit too inconsistent. So, what this actually does is it increases your hits by 50% so if you were to hit let's say like a, a 6 then you would actually hit I'm guessing a 12 if that's how the math works but uh, you could also have a chance of right there if you saw that you can slip your dagger through a chink in the creature's chitin which I don't know what the f*** uh, and you can land a vicious blow so I did that and I did that on the cow fight queen and I hit a 56 which it kind of sucks that uh, she didn't actually have more HP because I could have technically hit more. Unless uh, I didn't actually... Actually, no, never mind. Looking back at that, I think there's one HP left. But you can technically hit up to a 120 on the Cal Fight Queen. So it's a pretty cool thing that, uh, to actually be able to do. But I was not able to do it. Because I sat down and I did Cal Fight Queen for, I want to say, like over an hour. And I didn't actually hit at all on the Cal Fight Queen uh, past the 56. But I did hit a 56 with the uh, Karis. So that is pretty cool. But uh, just to show you guys how consistent this thing is. I was actually killing Cal Fight Guardians to see if I could max out on them. And I was hitting like pretty much back to back 40s. Like there was 42, 44 right there. And uh, I wanted to do this until I got like at least a decent hit. Because you can do it to uh, hit a 120. I actually saw a video on it before I started doing this, but um, I didn't hit that. Instead, I actually hit, just gotta wait for it, well you saw it in the thumbnail, 105. So that is absolutely ridiculous that I hit a 105 and that really caught me off guard. Even though I uh, know that it could hit like 120s and everything, it still caught me off guard to actually see that in action. So as I said, I first came across the Gatter Hammer, although I did the Karis first because uh, I just looked into like a few other quest items that hit really well, and that one actually does, uh, you know, comparatively, it's better than the uh, Gatter Hammer, I guess, in its special effects because it can just slaughter cow fights, and that could be really good for tasks if you guys don't really have that much, uh, you know, money or whatever it might be for like a whip or like a D-Sim. It's really good for tasks. It's actually pretty decent XP as well. Whereas this thing, it can just hit like 
I don't know. I think the highest hit I got was like a 44. Although you might be able to hit higher. I just didn't test it for too long. I want to say I sat down for about 15 minutes and tested this out. But it was pretty cool to know that there's quest items like this. And I couldn't really find any other quest items that uh, actually do high hits on people. You can get high hits on uh, NPCs. But um, if there are those quest items and I don't know it or, or rather I didn't catch that, then please let me know down below because it would be really interesting to actually look into. So... I just thought that this was a, a little bit of an interesting topic, so I wanted to just make a video on it. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I will see you. Uh, I've actually, I'm actually playing a little bit of Dead Man right now because uh, I'm able to start getting my Defender and everything and uh, quest done and all that. So maybe I will see you uh, in like a day or two. With actually, no, I'm I'm busy. Maybe Monday. Yeah, maybe Monday. Maybe three days. So I'll probably see you Monday with a Dead Man video. If not, maybe another video. You will probably see a video on Monday, though, so.